So hi, today we're going to look at the Sturgeon Island in Animal Crossing New Horizons. This is one of the islands you can come across when you're using the Nook Miles tickets. And if your island looks like this, so it's got that waterfall right at the front and then it's got this sort of um, river branching off in four directions, then you can get sturgeon sort of on demand almost. So the idea behind this, really, really simple. You just need to clear all of the fish spawns from the river. Now, the little bit off the left doesn't actually matter because no fish can spawn down there. There's not enough room. But you want to clear that little bit at the top, then all of those ones that I just cleared right in the middle. And you need to sort of look around a little bit. You can move the camera a tiny bit so you can see more of the river at once if you want. Then you go right down to the right hand side of it here or the east side of it. And that river mouth there, that's where the surgeons are going to spawn. Um, now they're not there all the time. Obviously what can happen is that you spend a little bit too much time clearing one area of it and not looking at the rest. You can see I've moved the camera here so I can see more of the rest of it. And then um, sometimes the fish spawn on the wrong side of the island. So you kind of need to mess around a little bit just trying to clear all of the different fish from all of the different areas. It's worth every now and then just going and checking to see if any have spawned. But if not, see them come back here and some uh, black bass have spawned there. And you can kind of tell which ones are the sturgeon because they're so big. They actually have a slightly different outline to all the others. Like the outline's a little bit thicker. So you can see them from quite a long way away. Now, like this little corner where the fish can spawn is actually kind of annoying to clear fish from because they can sort of swim right in the middle of it and then even if you sprint right near them sometimes they don't go away so you kind of just need to keep on messing around until they swim up a little bit closer to the shore and then you can get rid of them. Now doing this I was able to get a sturgeon once every maybe five minutes or so. Um, sometimes you'll get lucky and sometimes you'll get like two or three um, spawn really really close together and sometimes it'll take absolutely ages. So here you can see one pretty much just spawned there. Um, so one thing that's really careful to watch out for is because the water's lots of different shades there it's actually quite easy to miss them sometimes. So just keep an eye out because they'll always be around that bit where the water is changing colour. Um, so this one was obviously on the other side of the river so I had to jump over. Careful that you don't uh, scare it away or anything like that. Now sturgeons are worth 15,000 bells. So 15,000 bells obviously quite a lot and if you can get one of these every five minutes or so that ends up getting you quite a nice profit. I would say this is a lot less um, kind of consistent and reliable than the tarantula island. The tarantula island, if you find it, or if you just create one by chopping down all of the trees and getting rid of all the flowers and everything, is much, much more reliable and a much quicker way to get loads of bells. But you have to wait till after 4 or maybe even 7 p.m. to do that. So if you're playing during the day and you want to get loads of money and you find this island, it's a good way to get loads of sturgeons.